What's up everyone? It's your boy Jermaine. I'm back with another video. Back with another in real life video. Right when I said that, like I just noticed like a couple people stopped and like looked my way. <laughs> so I kinda like stopped and paused for a second. So as of now I'm just like cruising through Chinatown. I had the camera on the on one of the stands and I just took it off. That was that weird sound right before the video started. So as of now I'm just gonna cruise through Chinatown and just make a video talking about my day. It's a little bit later in Chinatown, so it's not too popping right now. It's definitely not like thumping like it was earlier. Earlier in the, in the daytime, it's pretty busy. As of now, it's not. You want a drink? She was like, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> Nasty. They got some fish. Look at these fish, yo. They're just getting them out the, getting the fish out the bucket. I was about to eat them fish. I could be gone, bro. Give it a couple hours. I'm just gonna be chop chop. Y'all know I don't eat fish. You know I do the whole vegan lifestyle, all that sort of thing. I like it. It's fun. It's healthy. I feel great living life. You know. It's very clean when you don't eat the animals. walk through Chinatown in a minute it's always so much to see when you come through it's almost like headache status you know it's like what are we about to see now this place got a lot of fish $15.99 a pound yo I'm telling you right outside only thing I can smell is per fish bro Woo. Wrong out here. Well, I mean, up right here where I am now, it's not so bad. But back there, oh, it was real strong. Everybody still, a lot of people wear masks around here, I know this. I'm telling you, it will never stop in this neighborhood. I bet it won't. It'll be 20 years from now, I'll still be wearing them. And, you know, right before the pandemic, it was actually some... There's a few people wearing, wearing masks, like older people. But now it's um, it's, a, it's literally a part of culture and they're not gonna stop doing it unless there's like a law that says you can't wear a mask anymore. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep doing it. And there's also another group of people I know in the city that they keep doing, I don't know, I know a lot of groups of people that keep wearing them, wearing masks in the city. And some folks, it's for shoplifting. Some folks, it's to hide their identity. So when they walk into stores, they won't be on camera. Or they'll be on camera, but like, it's not them. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons. Some people, it's for COVID. Some people, it's for, it's for a cold or it's for something else. It's all for different reasons now. Kind of crazy how that works. Kind of crazy how that works. See if I can make this uh, straight. Cool. It's pretty breezy out here today. It's a breezy day. How was my day? I dealt with a lot of. Uh, Dealt with a lot of bike stuff today. For the most part. And I also had a little temporary gig around here a little bit earlier. Um, it was a type of gig where it wasn't a moving gig. It was just kind of, um, I don't know, it was, uh, I had to like use a camera and like take a lot of photos and 
take some videos, it was one of those gigs. And then after that, after I was, um, after I took all the photos and began to upload the photos, we just went and like had a quick drink as I was uploading the videos and photos. So that's kind of, um, it's kind of my day right now. That is what I had going on now. Pretty cool. As we stroll through Chinatown, the particular place where I was going to was one of those locations where I needed to take the skateboard. I ordered belts for the skateboard. I actually got the belts for the skateboard, but you know why I haven't put the belts on the skateboard yet? I can't find the skate tool. The skate tool is this like this tool to take the wheel off the skateboard. And I have I can't find it. I have no idea where it is. It's obviously like at my house somewhere. But I just can't find it. Like I don't know where it is. So until I find it, I I kinda can't take the wheel off. Because you just need a skate tool to do it. Like you kinda can't use anything else. You kinda need a skate tool. So it's kinda one of those scenarios. Ready to cross. Instead of walking through this tunnel, I'm actually gonna go upstairs. Which definitely involves some hiking, you know. This is a pretty cool bridge because it's like a tunnel, but as you can see, there's like houses up there. It's just kind of weird. But that's why we're gonna take the stairs and go explore that area. Now we could just walk through and we'll enter into Union Square. But instead of just walking through and going straight over to Union Square, I feel like we should just go explore this is other neighborhood because look how quiet it is. Feel free to go back, rewind the video or listen, but quiet it is up here remember we only came from just down there a tunnel's noisy <laughs> tunnel's real noisy so we can just walk through here yeah yeah This here off to the right is a hotel here. It's a fancy hotel, Ritz Carlton, I think. Something along those lines. For some reason, there's like a cop outside. It could be like someone fancy saying that. Look at this building, this building's beautiful. How it's made out of those old bricks, you know? Only like federal buildings made out of stuff like that. Fancy buildings like that. Yeah, this is like the Ritz Carlton. Check out this view, yeah. It's a pretty cool view of the city. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. People in that car was giving me the look of death, like, why are you standing here? Because I can stand here, yo. Ha <laughs> ha. Check out the front of this, this building. It looks like mad fancy, yo. Where <laughs> it's Carlton. This one is not in Union Square. And you notice the difference of how quiet this neighborhood is. Super quiet here. Not that much action. But that's a good thing when you want to stay in a nice quiet place. On top of a hill with a view. This is definitely on top of a hill. I don't know what type of view you would have because I don't know which way your room would be facing. But this is on a big hill. This is one of the main streets, Pine in California. 
But actually, California is like a two-way street, so it's not exactly like a main street because the trolley takes California. But on Pine, Pine is like a car street, one way going away from this, away from downtown. And then Bush is the other one that's going towards downtown. Now, once again, I could have just took that tunnel and uh, it would have just been a lot of loud car noises and we would have, um, I don't know, it would not have made the most interesting video. But instead, I decided to take this way and look at these hills. Once again, remember the tunnel's right beneath us. Look at these crazy hills. And look, there's like buildings on top. Now let's continue to walk down here. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking hill. Look at this building right here. See this building here? I want you guys to see where we are at it now. We're gonna walk in front of that building in a minute. But just see where we are now. Like we're up here, way up here. Now let's continue to walk down. This is a big hill we're walking down, man. It's killing my legs. It's actually really slimy. Most electric bikes couldn't just go up this one. You'd have to take it to the right, to the left, you know. When you're on an electric bike and you're trying to go up a big hill, you have to go up it like this when it's a big hill. I'm like for real walking in the streets like it's like Roman times or something. <laughs> anyway. So over here where they're spraying is the steps to go down. So I like, creep by him because he's like, how? Oh, oh no, we go. Can this go here? Can we go down? Sometimes there's people hanging around here. But for the most part, they usually kind of keep it clean because they don't want like, you know, old ladies to come down and have to worry about that. So we would have came, started over there and came out over here. But instead, we have come out over here, which is like this. Is this is now we're in Union Square. No more China. What's going on? What's up? Dang, 20 minutes later. I actually knew someone over here and kind of stopped to chat with them for a little bit because we haven't talked for some time. And now I'm back on my way. I guess this video is going to be a little chopped up, but all right, it'll be a little chopped up since we've already had one chop up. Let's have another chop up because I want to go to Mr. Charlie's. And the thing about Mr. Charlie's is they play a lot of loud music, so I'm not going to be able to stream in there but what I can do is uh, just order the food and then after I order the food uh, you know cut the you know start cut stop the stream and then cut it back on you know but it's not really like I'm stopping the stream because this is not exactly a stream it's a video you get what I'm saying? but yeah let's go over to Mr. Charlie's here and I like this place because it's really cool I really hope they survive Mr. Charlie's is a vegan restaurant. What I'll probably do is just film a little bit inside. This is McDonald's across the street, but this is Mr. Charlie's over here. Mr. Charlie's! Alright, so I'm going in order. Maybe I'll just mute it. Oh gosh. Alright, that one Mr. Charlie's. 
And there's the real McDonald's across the street. Honestly, I wonder how Mr. Charlie's doing because I know for the most part it's uh, it's sort of like a um, I, I think it's like uh, like a an experiment type thing. But the only bad part about it is if McDonald's ever starts to make vegan food, it can, it would just put Mr. Charlie's out of business, you know. Because why would anyone go to Mr. Charlie's? But I don't think McDonald's will ever have vegan food in the U.S. because it, they would have to, um, they would have to change the grills, you know. But what if they just added vegan food to this location just to put Mr. Charlie's out of business? Because if they did add vegan food to this location, I would probably go to that location, you know. Especially if it was like cheaper than Mr. Charlie's because Mr. Charlie's is is about eighteen fifty or something like that. I think a, a meal at McDonald's is like thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars. So if that came out with like vegan food that was cheaper, like I would probably I would definitely go to McDonald's. For sure I would go because I would want everyone else to go. So McDonald's could keep having the vegan food, but I guess Mr. Charlie's will go out. Mr. Charlie's is really good. I'm just gonna go down to Union Square and grow. Um, I would have, I would have ate there, but it's really, really loud. Like they have a lot of music playing. I don't like to eat at a place that's really loud when I want to do a stream. So it won't, hopefully it won't be as windy over here. Cause the afternoon winds have definitely picked up. Yeah, yes, they have picked up a lot. I almost want to go <laughs> to the mall and eat. Like go to the top floor, you know? I guess I could, it's not that far away. It's not that far away. I, there's no more sun here anymore. There was sun earlier, but not anymore. But it's also not win not as windy now. I think I, I will walk down to the mall. Why not? Let's go this way. They finally opened this up. This was this was closed for a long time. They were doing like construction on this, and it looks like it just opened up recently. You can like walk straight up, straight down this way. Or you can go like this way. Huh, pretty cool. <laughs> that car's like, go idiot. <laughs> I don't know why that car's like, just stop there. Just chilling. <laughs> This is like not going at all. <laughs> all right. Um, I want to go to the mall now. Yeah, the mall. Because we can eat that. It's like windy out here. It's actually not as windy here. But I, let's just go to, you know, on the floor. Let's just go over here. stuff on the ground. I just go out over here because the mall is kind of far. It's not, it's kind of, it's not too far out of the way, but it's a little out of the way. Okay, I'll just go here. I need something to set the camera on, on so I don't have to like pull the gimbal out of my backpack and put it on and all that stuff. So I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to sit here because I can just sit down. Yes, here we go. I need something to open this with. Huh. <laughs> 
Not only did I break the freaking top, I freaking broke the top, whole top off. <laughs> this is like super sharp though. Oops. Okay, let's try this Mr. Charlie's in. I got, I've already tried it. I gotta remember not to drink all of this coke because there might be glass in the bottom. Okay, so basically Mr. Charlie's is a knockoff version of McDonald's. It's all vegan and it's really good. So here we have it. These are the french fries. These look just like McDonald's french fries, y'all. <laughs> they taste just like McDonald's french fries. There's the french fries. And over here, you get um, you get four nuggets too, right? So you have the nuggets and they also have this like white sauce, which is like, I don't know, it's like a mystery sauce, but it's vegan. It's really good. I'll give you some barbecue sauce. Cool. Uh, these, these, these are my two sauces I get. Barbecue sauce and the white sauce. Barbecue sauce is not bad. McDonald's. Or if you're not vegan, I don't know if you would really like it so much. They only give you four nuggets, so the nuggets are done. Those are over. sauce is done too. Mm, I think I like the barbecue sauce my favorite because barbecue sauce is like it's quite normal the white sauce is good but it's I don't know barbecue sauce is a little bit more practical. Burger in here. I got the double. So basically, this is called um, the found burger or something like that. Look at look at look how the cheese melts. Um, it's a double double patty with cheese with a lot of pickles, ketchup, mustard, onions. Mm. Really good. Mm. 
so good. For some reason, this reminds me of McDonald's. How the cheese sticks to the, the paper. It's so good to eat it. Hmm. I can't believe I broke my Coca-Cola top. It's like all oh, shattered, dude. To be careful drinking it, I don't want it to like cut me. <laughs> so they do an excellent job of of keeping the pickles on them, or, or putting the pickles on them. Just in the middle of Union Square. Not bad. You know, I, in the middle of the pandemic, I used to hang out here quite a bit because this was so dead. And Well, there's so many skaters coming up here hanging out that they put sand up there so that that way you couldn't like you couldn't okay. At first, I was kind of wondering, like, sorry, I'm just sitting there, like, looking at the plastic, but... I was sitting there wondering, like, yo, why did they put sand down? And then I thought, oh, yeah, because of the skateboards. You can't, like, the skateboard, the, the sand. And they had a lot of sand, like, a boatload. Like, they probably used, like, a, a truck that dumped that much sand off. And the thing is... They actually have to put that much sand down, otherwise these damn skateboarders will bring a um they'll bring a um a broom. Or or they, or these skateboarders will go somewhere and go find a broom. And come back <laughs> and start sweeping it. <laughs> no joke. So it's like, they gotta put a lot of sand down there, so, you know, they, they don't do that. But they don't do that anymore. Put the sand down. Also, when they wanna close the skate parks, that's what they do too, is they just put sand in the skate park. And no one goes there because if there's sand there, you can't ride. You can't ride. Like it's just yeah, you just can't. You know. I remember doing the the lockdowns. They they did that. Otherwise, you'd have skaters up there like skating, chilling, hanging out, drinking beers. You know, smoking joints. So they have to slow the numbers down. If 
barbecue sauce on my french fries. This is so good. Y'all gotta, gotta check out Mr. Charlie's. So good, so good. The Coke is tricky though. So for now, I guess we should um, let's keep walking down. Power stream. Let's do it. Oh my God. That was so good. They put it in this little box. Mr. Charlie's. Super. Super, super. Uh. I think I have my phone in my back pocket. And I just like sat down and crunched it. No. Thing's already crunched up. This thing is already.